One in 59 children are diagnosed with autism somewhere on the spectrum and each year 50,000 turn 18 years old and new this morning news channel 5's Kristen Scovira introduces us to a Nashville nonprofit dedicated to employing these young autistic adults. These are very light Sam. Okay. There you oh, go. Yeah. Underneath Bridgestone Arena. You're talking about computers, towers, servers. A team is gathering old electronics. They break down the electronics and then we sell those items that we can sell and the rest of it we recycle responsibly and ethically. Rebecca Dopp is the Executive Director of Electronics Recycling Solutions. We're meeting a huge need here in Nashville. First of all, there's not that many women-owned businesses for electronics recyclers. And second of all, um, these young adults really, really want to work. She launched the nonprofit to address recycling and adults with autism. We're more comfortable hiring adults with disabilities that we can see. We're not comfortable hiring adults with a disability that we can't see and yet they don't act quote unquote normal. Dopp says one in five Americans have a diagnosed disability and of those fewer than 20 percent are employed. We have a, a real time period that's critical between getting out at the age of 22 when their services end and adulthood. And if we don't get them hired and we don't start them on that road to meaningful employment, we're going to lose these young people. They end up sitting at home. Samantha, who works with me, she has a master's degree in library science. Jacob has graduated from college. He is incredibly talented. 29-year-old Samantha says she likes the work. Finding like a career, like finding like a, you know, a lifelong career, not just like a job. And with more than 50 million tons of electronics in need of recycling annually, it's the largest and fastest growing waste stream in the world. Dopp says she's simply pairing wasted talent with wasted resources. I couldn't do what I do without them. They make this completely possible for me. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5.